got a package and I'm super excited about this. These are pickups from Admire Music that he has wired up and sent me so that I can make a demo of it, which means that this is also a sponsored video. Now, I'm not getting paid and I have to send this back if I don't buy it, but it's still a sponsored video because he has sent this to borrow. All right, let's see what's in the package, shall we? Oh, nice, some uh, copper foil so that I can uh, do some shielding. A business card. Oh, sweet. Admire's own signature picks. I need to compare this with my own usual Jazz 3. Some knobs. And what I've been waiting for. The pick card with three single coil tone factory pickups. Tone factory in that they have different voicings that I can change using this rotor switch. Instead, I have three guitars. And the first one is a tele, which has two uh, Admire Music P90 pickups. Now these are tritone pickups, which is sort of the ancestor of the Tone Factory pickups. And this is my Jazz Jazzmaster guitar. Uh, it's really a Stratocaster uh, in a Jazzmaster body. These are Admire Music pickups. Uh, I think they're just regular pickups actually, but they sound great. Love this guitar as well. This is my Gibson Les Paul Custom 54 Reissue with Tone Factory pickups, Staple and P90. And as you see, with the rotor switch, where I can switch voicings. And this guitar will be the subject for part two of the Tone Factory demos Yay. and this is what appears to be the wreck of a guitar that's going to get the tone factor pickups now this is actually quite nice guitar uh, although inexpensive it's a uh, uh, made in japan fender stratocaster squire from 1992 my first proper guitar uh, and i'm the only owner ah yeah I almost forgot these. It's uh, the string set developed between Admire Music and Svarso. I already have these uh, strings on a few of my guitars and I can vouch for them because they are really really good and I'm going to use them on this demo as well. Just encountered my first challenge with this insulation you see it won't go all the way down because the rotary switch is slightly too deep so we need to do something about that fortunately there's enough wood in the guitar to uh, to make room or possibly I can do something with uh, these bolts. All right. I will now show you some of my favorite voicings and how I like to use them. But here is the comp voicing, which is a slightly compressed uh, voicing. I find that uh, good to use for like finger play, for instance. Or some funky blues.
my favorite on the Les Paul at least. I haven't found uh, a favorite on this one yet because I have only got this pickup, but my favorite on the Les Paul is the 60s Wissings. Now, uh, the voicings are uh, the decade voicings, like I like to call them 80s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Uh, it's not really much of a difference. 80s, 50s. It's, it's just subtle, subtle differences, that, uh, but it's enough for you to find a, a favorite. I skip from 80s. I think maybe you can hear it there. Let's see. Um, I... 70s. So, so that's the range, uh, and you have everything in between. Uh, but yeah, and 60s, which is one of my favorite voicings. Uh, and Meyer. Uh, I, I have demoed the Meyer voicing before, uh, but I'm going to do it again the way I prefer. Uh, it's, it's a mid-rangey kind of thing. So I like to call it the money for nothing voicing. So if you use the 60s voicing... Oh, that was low. So if you use the if you use the sixties voicing, and we skip to Meyer. Instant money for nothing. Just a quick run through of the voicings. First, we start off with the 80s. Seventies. 
Comp. Some closing thoughts uh, on the Tone Factory before we move on. Guitars never sounded this good. It's easily the best pickups I've ever had in this guitar. Um, no surprise, I'm well aware of the Admire pickups. I have Admire pickups in several of my guitars. Uh, fortunately, I don't have an agreement with him uh, to keep the pickups for making this video. And it's it's gonna be hard to send them back. Um, if I can. We have a chat, but we need to talk about this. <laughs> so Alright, welcome back. This is my Gibson Les Paul Custom 54 issue, my dream guitar for many years. Uh, when I finally got it, I found the tone a bit underwhelming. So I reached out to Ed and asked what can we do. So I sent this up to him and he changed the pickups uh, and installed a rotary switch and replaced basically everything of electronic in, the, in the, this guitar and it came back a uh, dream guitar really so uh, and this is this is much the reason why I'm so I was so eager to uh, do a demo video of the tone factory factory pickups when I was given a chance because I really love this so uh, this has the voicings 80s 50s 60s 70s comp and Meyer now the 80s through 70s are the decade voicings if you will comp is a slightly compressed voicing and meyer is the well money for nothing voicing the it's a sort of a cocked wah sound um, I'll, I'll show you later the differences between the decade voicings are not humongous uh, so i'm not sure how well that will translate through a, a YouTube video, but uh, we'll uh, we'll give it a go. Okay, I'm going to use the bridge pickup for this and start with the 80s. Tone up is a full volume. Volume is on full. Okay. Fifties. Sixties. Seventies, comp, Meyer. Sixties is really my favorite. 
but if you try to jump from 80s to 70s, I think that will give us the most, well, it'll show the range between the decade voicings at least. So, 80s, 70s, 80s, 70s, and you have these minor steps. Uh, can show you for uh, the decade voicings on the staple pickup as well. 80s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 70s. And comp is a slightly uh, compressed voicing, so that can be uh, very well used for uh, some funk. And the Meyer, I'm going to switch between the 60s and the Meyer, that, that will bring out the difference the most. And I need to gain my amp up a bit. Alright. I start with the 60s and I'm going to play Money for Brish. Notice that cocked wah sound. It really comes to uh, its uh, own when uh, when using some gain uh, and with a uh, riff that shows it so well, where you expect that kind of sound. Sixties. And um, 60s, as I mentioned, is my favorite uh, favorite uh, voicing. And I'm going to play one of the most beautiful tunes I heard last year. Uh, it's uh, Planet TD1 by Trip the Witch from uh, one of my more recent guitar heroes, Tom Bukowak.